Hello, the first application we're going to go over today is Safari. Safari is a web browser. Within each slide, I'm going to provide you the best of my ability, written instructions and or video instructions if I can. With that being said, I do have written instructions regarding the Safari browser and the tools that we're going to go over is the reading list and how to capture photos and add it to your iPhoto. So the first thing I'm going to do is open Safari. I'm gonna click on Safari and I want to, let's say I want to um, add the website AtlanticIASchools.org and I want to maybe add the one-to-one -one initiative and I really want to read it later. So what that means is I don't have time right now to really look at this but I want to add it to my reading list. To do so you can click on the plus button and you'll notice it will then go to your reading list. Do you notice it went over here? Well, what this is, is if you click on show sidebar, if your sidebar is already showing, you have a gray box over here. And you'll notice you have the option of a reading list or bookmarks. If I click on the plus button, you have the option to, if you hold down longer, you have the option to add it to different things. But I just clicked on it right away and it went to my reading list. So let's say I'm gonna hide this gray bar again. And let's say I go to um, achievement. So and now it's going to take me to this website and if I hold it down I could then also bookmark it if I choose to or directly put it in my reading list. And now if I show the sidebar again I click on this and I have these different reading or websites that I need to read later. If I do not want to or I have read the, the website and I no longer need it in my reading list I hover over it and you see the X. Go ahead and click on the X and it'll remove it from your reading list. That is kind of, in a nutshell, how the reading list works. Okay, I'm going to do a search on Google or English Bulldog so I can add the image to my iPhoto. That's the next tool that we need to know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and close other reading list. And by doing so, I'm going to click on the open book. Click on the open book. And then I'm going to type up here, English Bulldogs images. And I'm going to hit enter. I like this picture. So to do so, I can click on the shortcut button. The shortcut button is what option? It is the control button. Again, the control button is the shortcut. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to hold the control button and click on the picture. And now do you notice you have the option in Safari to add image to iPhoto. So I'm going to go ahead and click add image to iPhoto. And you'll notice here on my dock is bouncing with the iPhoto application. What that means now in my photos, if I click on photos, you'll notice I do have that picture of that bulldog. How simple is that to add that directly into your iPhoto? Again, to do so, all you do is click the control button and click on the image and add image to your library. Thank you.